All right, guys, so I'm at the Intel booth, and one of the virtual reality headsets that I've been really excited to try out is the Intel Project Alloy. So we're going to go over and try that out. It's their wireless, untethered headset. So that is going to be a lot different from the Vive and the Oculus Rift, which obviously you have to plug into a computer. We'll see how the tracking is, all the inside-out tracking, how the response time is in terms of moving stuff, all that that you would expect and see how good it is compared to everything else. So we're gonna go try it out, let's see. All right, have a seat. So you're, gonna, you're gonna start by shooting forward, so I say shoot to start. Okay. So you lower the gun, and then the gun disappears. See? Yeah. Okay, so I just got out of the Intel Alloy demo and it was basically a shooter game where you stand and try to defend yourself against zombies and that sort of thing. They actually gave you a little handheld controller which acted as the gun and then of course the headset was self-contained, wasn't tethered to anything. They had you in a little room and you basically had to just shoot at a bunch of zombies. Now in terms of how well it performed, uh, <laughs> honestly I, don't, I wasn't that impressed. For what it is, it's good. but. The tracking was kind of weird. The controller, you had to hold it up really high up in order for it to show up. And also, I don't know if the IPD wasn't set right on mine, but I was kind of seeing double. And then they said that there would be a grid around where the room was, like you have on the Rift and the, the Vive. But for me, it kind of looked like I was dead center in the room from the inside but apparently I was bumping into the walls. I thought I was bumping into someone with it. So they, I don't think that was supposed to happen. The refresh rate they said is 90 hertz. Didn't really feel like 90 hertz to be honest, but maybe that was just, I don't know, it didn't feel like that high refresh rate, although I didn't get sick or anything like that. So I don't know, I think it's got a long way to go. Obviously this is probably still a prototype, so hopefully they'll improve a lot of that. For what it is though, like I said, it's not bad. You're not hooking up to a computer at all. They have to fit everything into that little headset so it is kind of heavy not super heavy not oppressively heavy if they can get it even pretty close to the Vive or Oculus Rift performance while being that size I wouldn't say it's that bad uh, honestly I don't even know if the graphics really compared that much to the you know the daydream VR headset or the gear VR I don't even think it was necessarily that better Maybe it's hard to tell because in those they don't put that many objects in, whereas there was a lot going on in the scene in that sense. So there probably is a lot of more power in it, but it didn't feel any better. Also, they did say it uses Intel RealSense technology. I've had experiences with that, especially with the Razer Stargazer, where it uses the depth sensing camera to see where your hand is. And I will say that while the room tracking wasn't necessarily that great, it did seem to track my hand well when it was in front of me. It, maybe people are less sensitive to their hand not tracking well as opposed to their head, but it seemed like the pistol that we were shooting worked well, at least in that sense. It, it's neat, but I wasn't blown away or anything like that. I think it's definitely going to be something to watch. This is probably just the first iteration, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. I think hopefully next year, especially the way Oculus and Vive and VR in general is improving, I think I'm at least excited for the future, but not excited for what we have right now. So definitely keep an eye on it. I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. I'll try to keep you guys up to date on the future, how well it works. If I get to demo it, maybe at E3 or something like that, we can definitely look at how this progresses. But I thought I'd just give my experience, and if that's just if you're wondering how it works.